Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. In this video, we'll discuss solutions to the questions in paper 2 of the 2014 JE Advanced Physics question paper. Let's start with question 1. Uh, a tennis ball is dropped on a horizontal smooth surface and it bounces back to its original position. So you have a horizontal smooth surface, you drop a tennis ball, it falls down with increasing speed and then it suffers a change in speed here and it goes back and it comes back to zero speed here. The force on the ball during the collision is proportional to the length of the compression. Which figure describes the variation of kinetic energy with time? So if we look at the three options, we know that instantaneously here the speed does become zero. Right, it uh, increases to a maximum value but then once it's being compressed, there's a point where the speed becomes zero and then the velocity becomes in the opposite direction. So option C can immediately be ruled out. Option A, B and D, the only difference in them is the part from here to here, from going uh, from initial point to the floor. Right, and they all start with speed zero or kinetic energy zero and stop with kinetic energy zero. So that's the part which we need to worry about. And in this part, we know that the initial velocity is zero. So V will be equal to AT or GT, which means the kinetic energy, which is half MV squared, becomes half MG squared T squared, which is proportional to T squared. So it's a parabola. And we know a parabola goes like this. And the only option in which initially it starts out like this is option B. So that is the answer. Thank you.